So this is the amount that we got from the Ichipan Kuji. We in total pulled 14 times. Good afternoon. We are officially in April vlog. His hair is like sticking up. <laughs> I'm still so sleepy. Yeah, me too, actually. But it's already almost one. So, gotta start the day. Sorry, some of the stuff that we bought last night. Tomika. And. I managed to roll the last acrylic co coaster. <laughs> it looks so nice. Same old, same old. Black. No, brunch. To work, he needs to work. I'm no good. So while he's working, I will show you guys what we got from Ichiban Kuji. So this is the amount that we got from the Ichiban Kuji. We in total pulled 14 times. Is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, 14 times. And we got both A and B and then there is this is E F G and then H ah this is D so we're actually just missing C <laughs> but I think we're good for now C is a wooden plate. I'll show it to you on a corner somewhere. You can actually see most of the stuff in the shorts that we post before already. I will keep the I will put the link here somewhere. But um yeah, I just want to so show you guys in detail how everything looks like. Show you guys in backward order. This is the H. Um there's two types of these kind of notepad looking one and then there's another two type that is I don't know if it's just envelopes or if it's also a notepad but yeah these ones we like it better because it's thicker and it has like more pages um, each one of them have three kinds of designs I like this the most because it has it looks like the furniture catalog and then this is just very plain and simple with the villagers this is the cooking version with Timmy Tommy on the top and then the recipe menu when you go cooking in the game then last part looks pretty much the same with it with different villagers and next is g g is actually just a plastic ziploc with design on it and then inside has stickers there are actually three more kinds of this type but we chose the dodo airlines and the the cafe you so cute i like the owl cafe's design and dodo airline is just classic 
they also have the one for the note miles kk slider and one more then you have f show f show is the um clear bottle three kinds of designs you have oliver kk slider and kappa kappa on one side Author on the other side. I like that the speech bubble is finally in Japanese. Because the ones in Uniqlo before was in English. Gulliver. <coughs> then you can see a very, very pale Tom Nook on it. On the sand. Last one is KK Slider with the home design characters. This is more um the DLC patterns. Then we have Isho. Isho is plates. And it's actually ceramic plates, not just plastic. Just have to say the packaging is so good. Like, it's so solid. You don't even, it's not gonna come out even if you only hold on to the one side. Hatonosu! Kawaii! But the. Green is not quite the green we were hoping for Because the apron is quite green as you can see on the background, but this is more pale green <laughs> Timmy Tommy This is my recipe It's the one with Isabel but it's more bowl-like than the other one that is more plate-like. As you can see, the thickness is different. Hence, that's why the box is actually slightly thicker than the other one. Last but not least, the DLC design. This is the bowl type too. This one is the drawstring bag. If any of you know what this is, please let us know. We're trying to look for it, but we still don't know what is this. Because they have the money bag version and also two other paper bag version that is like normally when you give stuff to the villager that's how it looks like but this i just can't find the equivalent in the game and it's puzzling me <laughs> the material they use is quite shiny too like kind of waterproof feel more like a windproof windproof yeah it's quite big too so it's good to put something in there since we don't have C the next is B I'm not gonna open open it anymore because I already did a video of how it looks like I will post it on the side as I talk um, but yeah, this is one of the prizes that we want the most because this look exactly something that you would wear if you work in the cafe. And we're a big sucker of replicas. <laughs> so, um, but I can show you that the material <laughs> is also very nylon-like 
um, it's white inside instead of the whole thing being green. So, kind of different from what I thought it would be. And the color on camera is actually very different from how you can see it in proper eye. I don't know why it's a lot more bluer on camera. But yeah, it's nice. And this is a show, the A prize. There's only two in each set of the lucky draws. Um, yeah, I was lucky. <laughs> I was actually just gonna try, and I did two, ended up getting an A. Um, this is an alarm clock, supposedly. I'm not sure how it works. I'm gonna see if I can try turning it on. So it's wrapped in this plastic and then with this. And it actually comes with instructions. Wow. Tripway battery. And it's on. Ta-da! Let's set the time properly. Right, I set the time. It should ring 3.20. <laughs> now we wait. Don't miss it though. Yeah, that's why I have the camera as it's on. It's so long. <laughs> it's supposed to be like three minutes long. That was it. Mm. So it says it lasts for one minute forty five seconds. <coughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. So that was it. That was all of it that we have. Um seashore is a wooden plate that is laser engraved. So it has Timmy Tommy on it. But I think we're good for we're, we're <laughs> with this amount of prizes. Um, we're actually lucky enough to not have any duplicates, because um, most of the time, uh, with actually this time, Ichibakuji was really nice because usually these kind of plates or bottles sometimes they will make the box to the point where you don't know which one is which so you're just randomly choosing it and there's like a high chance that you will get a duplicate so this time they were being nice they actually let you choose what you want among the the prices that they have um 
Yeah. So in case you don't know what is Ichiban Kuji, it's actually a lucky draw that you go to either a convenience store or whatever shop that sells it. Um, you pay a certain price. This time it's 700 yen ish a pop, and then you tell them like how many times you want to pull it, and then um, you put your hand into the box and hope for the best. <laughs> yep, yep. And then you usually open the tabs, which ended up with something like this. And then um, it will show you like what price you get on the other side of that tab. Um, with the remaining tab, this also have like a double chance. You can still win something. This time is actually the coffee mug from uh, the Owl Cafe. But um, there's only 50 of those around the whole Japan. So like the chances are actually very, very low. <laughs> <laughs> but don't throw these until you, you know, try this, like scan this or like type this chain of number in um, here. I think this shows, yeah. And um, each prices have different amount. This time it's like, um, I think there's only six of price D, two of price A, two price Bs, and stuff like that. So it depends on how much they made. You might be able to get like something more. Um, and then by the last one, you'll get something quite different. This time is a Timmy Tommy uh, alarm clock. So it's kind of like the A show where um, it's Isabel, but the last one is Timmy Tommy. And right now they're selling it on Marikari for what, 6,000 yen, I think. <laughs> but yeah, so this kind of products really depends on your luck but the thing is um, they are really good at it um, they don't only do um, Nintendo stuff they also have like anime stuff like One Piece um, Naruto. Naruto we have also seen Stranger Things um. My Hero uh, Academia. Yeah, My Hero Academia. Um, or even uh, some of the dramas that like you can see, but like we don't really pay attention to it because we don't know them, but they do quite a lot. And like all the prices is designed around that that particular um, either drama or or anime or game. So that's why we're poor in Japan. <laughs> but yeah, hope you liked it. Time to edit. Someone's busy at work. So while Bullen is busy with her work, I am going to be unboxing this Tomica, the SIL 80. Uh, the reason why I got the SEAL 80 is because I've been recently watching more Initial D and I'm at the chapter already where they're going to be fighting against the SEAL 80. So let's open it up. I should have quite a few of my collections already from the Initial D lineup. I'll show them to you guys later. But yeah, SEAL 80. This is the from the premium line. And just comes out in a simple box like this and oh my gosh but onto the car itself it's just a simple packaging with the plastic and ooh beautiful still 80 I'm gonna get the AE86 to see how it scales up against it in a little bit this one has a uh, pretty cool suspension to it 
I think that's one thing I like about like the Tom Maker cars because they actually have like components like opening doors like this and then suspension for the wheels pretty cool and it's my favorite color too it's which is the blue one pretty nicely made it's got all of the details into it like even if we look closely on the back over here it says the 180SX on the back which is right here not sure if it's coming close on the camera just really nice all right so these are the other cars that i've been collecting uh the first one that i got was actually this one over here the ae86 and then i picked this one up i think a few years after i got this one because um i wasn't able to find this back in hong kong but i was able to find this one here at the big camera and then on one day i was also going to yamada denki near work and i was able to find this guy so these two are the rotary brothers in the initial d and yeah i got this collection over here i was hoping to get it around the same box as this i mean like this for the size because you can see like the difference in the boxes but actually they're not that different in size all right so here they all are side by side with the sil 80 over here the rx7 and then the other RX-7 as well too. I think this is the different model. Like the Savannah and then one is the Bathurst. And then you have the car from the protagonist. Which is the AE-86. Um, I would have preferred that they were more like this. Rather than what it has over here for the RX-7 Bathurst model. Because this one actually the doors don't open. But the cool thing about it is that it's got this do hickey over here in the front. And if you actually push it up, wink, the headlights come up. Or it would have been better if it had like that gimmick along for this one. For the AE86 as well too. Including the opening of the doors. But I guess it's too much to ask for. <laughs> but anyway. Um, also one of the details that's missing from the Bathurst model is that it didn't have like the logo for the red suns on the back. I would have lo loved it if it was more consistent because this one had like the details from the anime. Whereas this one, well, it didn't really have much. Would have been cool. And of course this one is, yeah, the oldest one that I have so that's why it's, it's not as white as the RX-7 over here for some reason that like it's I don't know it's yellowing already maybe they use an old type of paint but this one also has like the doors opening on the side and of course the same suspension system that all Tomica cars come with so pretty cool yeah and this is how it scales up to the still 80 side by side yeah all right so over here is another box that we got which is the if i'm not mistaken this is called the tiger moth from the movie um lapita castle in the sky this one is i think it just recently came out and yeah we're gonna go open it up Check it out. Alright. After navigating through that, let's go see what's inside. Oh, it's pretty nicely packaged. I'm just gonna open it like this. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nice. Quite a hefty. model you can see over here these are the wheels and then these are the propellers that 
Oh, it turned. Propel on the back. Oh, that is so cool. Lapid is actually one of my favorite Ghibli movies. Yeah. And they did a good job making this. Oops. Oops. <laughs> this is a get a good shot of that sculpt in the details. With that skull in the back. Nice. It is really, really well done. I wish they put in more like um, glass elements, like those transparent pieces for the for the mirrors here. I mean, not the mirrors, the the windshield. But I guess this is really, really well done. It's quite quite heavy, but it's really well done. Nice. I can't wait to get the house movie castle one if we ever get our hands on it because when we were checking it out they were actually sold out so yeah that's it and upon closer inspection actually I didn't show you all of the stuff yet guys we actually needed to attach the propellers on the side of this one too so there's this little bag over here I'm gonna open it up That's why I was like wondering, what are those holes for? And then I looked at the picture and I was actually missing those propellers on the side. So let's pop these in. Pretty simple. Just follow that notch, push that in. Oh, okay. And it goes in through these holes over here. Nice. Okay. And there you go. Now it look more like the actual thing. Yes, now it's more <laughs> accurate. They don't spin as much, but um, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, Tiger Moth. We're heading out to get some dinner, but um, gotta pump the tires. Yeah. D. Yes. The buckle. Mm -hmm. And a H. Ah, H. <laughs> so much for saying that it's enough, but we still pull it again. Well, we really wanted to get the paper back, right? Yeah. And oh. then, and then, um, there's they still have C, and then now it's twelve. Away from the last. Yeah. Pizza place. Yeah. Pasta. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. Actually, we've been like waiting for the rest of it, but probably it's gonna take a while because there's only one chef. <laughs> but it's all right. That's what. You know, small businesses like, right? Support small businesses. Yes. Pasta. Pasta. Looks so yummy. Oh, yeah. And it's his favorite rock. Oh. Half for half. Nice. Stopping by a park nearby. It's pretty cool. Parks in Japan, it's actually quite nice. But yeah, usually it has a slide, it has a small area, and then two swings and a sand pit. <laughs> Where? This using the swing for a little bit. In a way, it's... I guess it's mine. 
I'm trying to remember how um, the ones in Hong Kong look like. Really crappy. But this is definitely a lot more well maintained. The ones that they have in Hong Kong are co covered in graffiti. Yeah. Some people put like razor blades in them. Yeah. And there's like garbage everywhere too. I mean, here there is still kind of, but like at least it's not visible. It's not. It's not as dirty. Oh really? It's such a sakura tree here. This is gonna be gorgeous when we go Yeah. Apparently the sakura this year is late. Even though it's warm, early. <laughs> Look at this big kid <laughs> throwing hopscotch. Somebody wrote hotel on the floor and he ate California. <laughs> Welcome to the hotel California. <laughs> we in Shazam 11. He got a red bean condensed milk shave ice. Ji. I got chicken. Ji. The best part is it comes with the toothpick. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Got home and opened it. Now we don't have to wonder what's inside. It's aligned and with villagers on the left. Guardian War. Or Guardian War. And it's three o'clock again. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the first vlog. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> see you guys. Ciao. Bye.